Okay, lesson 12, word problems about combining. Your objectives. You're going to get to translate and solve word problems about combining using a formula. And it is kind of like translating a foreign language a little bit. You're going to write an equation to solve a problem about combining. You're going to check your answer by adding in a new way. You're going to decide if the answer to a word problem is reasonable, which is a very important skill. Check to make sure if your answer makes sense. You're also going to be identifying the place value of a digit in a number during your uh, rest of your work. And read whole numbers through 999. Let's get started. Lesson 12, all about finding the plot or formula in word problems. So plot one, sum plus some more. All right, so when you're doing addition, it's usually you have sum plus you get some more. Usually it starts out with something like all together or in all. Some can be tricky, so watch carefully. Let's take a look at this example. The troop hiked eight miles in the morning and seven miles in the afternoon. All together, how many miles did they hike? Relatively easy problem, but again, we're establishing ways for your brain to remember and to think. So, you have some, eight miles, and you add some more, seven miles. Some plus some more equals the total. You can use a formula, S plus M equals T. Math will eventually use lots and lots and lots of formulas. This is just one example. So in the example of the hikers, you know what two numbers to add together. You have your sum plus your more, your sum plus some more, but you don't yet know the answer. So let's practice. Sum is your eight miles in the morning. Some more is your seven miles in the afternoon. T is your total. Altogether, how many miles did they hike? This is your classic sum plus some more. Step one is recognizing that that's the kind of problem it is. Now you get to apply your skills. You want to write an equation with that addition formula. S plus M equals T. 8 plus 7 equals T total. Your next step, find the missing number. Add 8 plus 7 and get 15. 8 miles plus 7 miles equals 15 miles. By the way, don't forget to label. Does that answer make sense? Did we add correctly? 8 miles plus 7 miles equals 15. Yep, makes sense, and it's correct. 8 plus 7 is 15, 7 plus 8 is 15. This is kind of a even and odd thing. If you have an even number and an odd number, your answer is going to be odd. The addition is definitely correct. For example, 2. After Jamal paid Hannah $120 rent, Hannah now has 645. I underlined the now so that you would see that that's important. How much did she have before Jamal paid her? Well, she had some. We don't know how much. She received more. She received 120 from Jamal. She now has $645. Don't get tricked. We don't know how much she started out with but we do know she received $120 and now has $645. What to do, what to do? Well, here's our formula. Sum plus more equals the total. The missing number is how much she had before. Okay, so fi to find the answer, even though it's a sum plus some more equation, we need to subtract. Sum plus 120 is 645. Let's subtract. Let's take our 645 and take away the 120. We get 525. Is this reasonable? Let's check. Let's add the 525 plus the 120. Do we get 645? We do. We are correct. Example 3. 18 children are on the playground because Cheryl counted them. Then all of a sudden the bell rings and there's a bunch more kids on the playground. Cheryl doesn't know how many kids came on the playground, but she does know that she counted 98. 
So she doesn't know how many came, but she knows that she started out with 18, now she has 98. This is a sum plus some more. So we know sum, that's 18. We don't know the more. We have no idea how many more yet. But we do know the total, 98. Since subtraction is the inverse operation of addition, let's subtract. We take our 98, which is our total. We subtract our sum, S-O-M-E sum, and that's 18, and we get 80 kids. So now we know there were 18, 80 more ran onto the field, and now we have 98. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. Now, you've seen three variations of the sum plus some more formula. I want you to do the lesson practice. I want you to check your answers, make sure they make sense, use everything you've learned so far, and then complete the written practice. You can do it. You are learning some great algebra skills. You're going to do just fantastic. Have a great day.